I started when I was three and just kind of, my, my sister was a gymnast and so she kind of got me into that, into the sport of gymnastics. I couldn't stop flipping around and had too much energy so my mom put me in and I had made nationals um, in 1992 for level nine. I was the little pipsqueak with the rest of the girls from my club that were older um, and that was kind of a memorable trip for me. And then went right level 10 that next year. Ended up uh, breaking my foot or my ankle in December and um, I believe I had surgery in December. It was like two days before Thanksgiving or Christmas and um, ended up just kind of training and qualified to states, regionals and then won level 10 nationals and then from there I went right to elite. So I kind of progressed pretty fast and uh, didn't look back, that's for sure. I think being part of the 95 gold medal Pan Am team was pretty awesome. Um, I placed fourth at be on beam that, at that meet, which was really cool. A lot of my international trips were really awesome, very memorable. Going to um, Italy was probably the number one in 93. I went there, that was unbelievable. Um, not necessarily where I placed in any of those meets, but just the experience of doing, being able to do gymnastics in um, a different country and, and representing USA, which was really cool. Um, so I went to Italy, Spain, Argentina for Pan Ams, um, Malaysia, and um, obviously the biggest one is Olympic Trials in 96. I was kind of in, in awestruck when I was there with um, being able to be a part of uh, such a, an amazing opportunity with those high level athletes there. Back then they had a compulsories as well as optionals and the compulsories outweighed the optionals. It was a 70% to 30% score and um, I had, I think I had one of the highest optional scores there but I had a fall in compulsories and so um, that really put me out and you know, it, you learn from your mistakes and you kind of, it is what it is and just kind of take that experience for what it is and cherish that memory. Towards the end of 96, right after Olympic trials, I've kind of been battling a back injury since basically 95. So it was around February 97, I had my last kind of competition for a while and I decided I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. It was, I was having numbness down my legs and my big toes were numb all the time and I decided it was just, you know, it, it wasn't worth it. I put a lot of time and effort and had a really good run at the elite career that I just decided gymnastics needed to, to I needed to take a break with it. I started my junior year in high school. I couldn't really stay away. Um, so I decided to, they had just started a, college, or a high school team and I decided I was gonna be a coach, a student coach. Well, that didn't last very long. I started playing around and I took up high school gymnastics for just a short time. Um, and then I went in back to do club gymnastics at level 10. And I just did two events because that's all my back could allow me to do. Dave Cazara, who was the head coach at University of Massachusetts at the time, had he's from Michigan and so he had always been keeping an eye on me and he knew that I was back in doing level 10 and, and recruited me. And when I went on campus, I fell in love. We found out um, a week before our conference championship that our program was being dropped. We were able to keep our scholarship for one more year after that if we were on scholarship. And I had decided that I had been through enough and I was gonna be done and stay there and finish out my time at UMass. And then um, Central Michigan called and we uh, decided to, my, my roommate and I, my teammate and I, Megan Donahue, we decided to go to Central and finish out our, our careers at Central. And I'm, I'm thankful I did because able to to end on a high note. The team was just awesome and we had, it was very competitive and being able to get two tens was, was awesome. Um, being able to do that for my team was really cool. Um, and then also making it to nationals, definitely a, a highlight because that was something I always wanted to do. You always want to strive for the best and um, being able to make it to nationals was great.